Hello guys and welcome to Play of the J. We have some PUBG scrim action for you tonight and it's going to be the Physrix Gaming Invitational scrim. So we have 20 of the best Malaysian teams here for you tonight. So they had round number one starting last Friday. So this is going to be round number two. There's going to be prizes for the top ranked team at the end of four scrims that we're going to be seeing over the next few Fridays. So just to introduce the teams while we are getting started over here, we do have uh, uh, team one is going to be Battle Arena Elites followed by Physrix Esports, Physrix Gaming, Frostfire, Flash Vision Esports, Gang FTY, Gaventure, Geek Fam, Genius Team, Gold Army Factory, Lemon G Gold, MBT Minum Kopi Jap, ONE Esports, Quacker, Red Sea Esports, Silver Wolves, Stage Gaming, Stadium Fighter, Face Gaming, and Vengeance. So guys, let's get stuck into our first round of the evening and see how these guys are going to be panning out. And we can already see that there's already going to be some teams dropping out early. If not mistaken, this is going to be Minum Copy Jap. Only three player, or actually they do have the fourth player there. Um, dropping out early. We do see Gaventure going to be dropping around South George right now. They will have the whole space there to themselves. But they do have Afam just a, a little bit over towards the eastern side of South George. So we'll see how that is going to pan out later. It should give these teams a lot of time in this area. But uh, it does look like Gaka might be a little bit crowded here. It does look like we're going to have Physrix Esports going to be hanging out on this side. We do also have the teammates here from uh, Stadium Fighter as well. Just going to hang out there for the time being. We do have Flash Vision also going for this region here. So Physrix uh, Esports also going to have to be a little bit more careful since they're just a little bit more spread out than everyone else. Flash Vision. We do see that they are, or sorry, ONE Esports here, uh, going to be hanging around school. But I think uh, maybe the teams have changed a little bit here. So I'll look and see about changing the team list a little bit later on. But Chinky looks like it might be a little potential hotspot here. We do have Vengeance here. They do love going towards Pachinki. And they do have the team members here from Gold Army Factory that they just have to be a little bit careful of. Circle has shifted all the way towards this eastern side of the map. So looks like most of the teams here are going to be quite happy with it. Um, some like Red Sea here, not too far away in Rozok. Uh, but we'll have to pick up on that. Right now, Roy here is going to be a little bit secluded here from the rest of his team mates and uh, Alan Lembu also going to be a little bit separated there for Vengeance as well. So we're going to have to see how they're going to be picking things up a little bit later on. Mox here trying to get some angles there while he tries to just play a little bit on the safe side here. Roy here also not willing to just go all guns blazing just yet here as he doesn't want to wait and see how his team members are going to be uh, massing up here and just getting into a better position here when they start this game. But Roy here is just going to be posturing just a little bit here. But looks like here in Milta, things are heating up. Oni Gate here going to be taking down one of the players first here for uh, Oni, uh, if not mistaken. Here, Teddy getting knocked down at the moment here. And uh, currently, all the other teammates there from... Um, well, it's not Minokopi Jap, so I think it is ONE here in this um, particular slot. And um, looks like Stage Gaming here going to be hanging out here a little bit towards the eastern side. So they're watching how things are going to be unfolding over here. But it looks like Roy here getting knocked down after he was uh, really stuck in the middle of the Vengeance players just then. And uh, now Roy here uh, going to be in a little bit of trouble. I don't think that there's going to be much that can help him out there. But it looks like KM F1 and Dreams here might have spotted out Alan Lembu and he's taking quite a bit of fire here at this early stage in the game but KMF1 here um, but uh, looks like Alan Lembu not going to be able to get away from Dreams here at the moment so now he's going to be uh, uh, just trying to think how, how he's going to shake things up a little bit later on Vengeance here going to be uh, trying to get out Mox, he has been knocked down himself as well. But uh, now it looks like Gold Army Factory here. Not going to dwell too much on that loss that they took in the early stages of the game here. They're going to just continue looting up just a little bit more. But in Milta, right in the center of the circle, in fact, it's going to 
definitely be in favor of these teams here if they do want to try and play a bit slowly here. But looks like Nine Holy gonna get the headshot onto Mune right there. So Venge is gonna have to continue licking their wounds here for the time being. And now Mr. Sixth here all by himself for Frostfire. So has to just play it a little bit on the slow side here while he does have uh, Snake Jaw and Terrence gonna be a little bit close by in that farmhouse structure. But um, looks like Mr. Six here already deciding to back out just a little bit here and see whether or not he can reconvene with the rest of Frostfire. But now let's see how things are developing here in Pachinki as currently Mune is still knocked down here. KMF1 has a good flanking position here and he's getting some shots on the Hydrax man and he's stuck out in the open and uh playing whack-a-mole right now but uh looks like kmf1 gonna have to stop to reload just a little bit here not able to take advantage of that uh, flanking position that he had just now but uh ooh, looks like oman there for a genius team here gonna take down swinger and battle arena elite's gonna be down to three players but uh now hydrax man continuing to try put pressure onto kmf1 but Dreams is going to be a little bit on the other side here. He's going to have uh, some good chances here to do some damage potentially. Mune has been res though, so Vengeance here going to just reset a little bit here and uh, see how things are going to be panning out a little bit later on. Now, we do see that uh, Minokopi Jap players here have gone a little bit uh, further up here. And uh, actually, yeah, I think the team numbers are a bit wrong. People did, uh, uh, I don't know, take the, the wrong slots there. So after the... This first round is over, guys. I will be looking to try and see uh, what I can do in terms of that. But Mune getting taken down for the second time here. And looks like Dreams here going to get the headshot. But uh, Dreams ha does have to get a little bit of a heal off here for the first time. But uh, we'll see how it's going to be faring just a little bit later on. But it looks like Hydrax Mac gets knocked down by Nine Holy. And Nine Holy going to be moving in here. And uh, really taking advantage of the loot that's going to be dropped right now. Mox here going to be trying to do the best that he can. He's moving up the building here just to try and get into a better position. But KMF1 not going to give him the time that he needs to reset and try and heal up. He's uh, only got a fraction of his life left and he's going to hide out on the backside here. And looks like KMF1 going to come out there and he's going to take down Vengeance here for... Um, Gold Army Factory. So they have dominance over Pachinki here. Now, looking at the rest of the map, Battle Arena Elites, they are a bit spread out. So Swinger did get picked off a little bit earlier on. And looks like we have Physrix uh, Gaming going to be hanging out here in Yasnaya. So they're going to be just hanging out for the time being. But uh, Quacker here did decide to go for Military Island. They do love going here. And uh, we do see the Face Gaming going for their traditional Mill to Power region here. So they're all going to be a little bit separated here. But they don't have to worry too much. They do have good circle positioning for the time being and um, meanwhile things in Milta here are just uh, gonna be very difficult for all these other teams here while there is potentially enough loot here to survive for the time being all this chip damage is not really going to be helping any of these teams here and uh, we do see that all the way from the the end there it is going to be some of these other players going to just be uh, hanging out for stage gaming now they have bugged out a little bit slowly here for the time being so we'll see how that is going to uh, go on a little bit later on but now Blue Zone is starting to move in. Everyone's going to have to start making their rotations. We do have to see Physics Esports make their moves, as does Minokopi Jap. And uh, Gaventure is still going to be hanging out in South George for the time being. But uh, we are already seeing that Flash Vision Esports already starting to move into the central positions here as they try to come very close to Milta. So Milta, a little bit of a standoff. Frostfire have managed to congregate themselves here a little bit here and uh, not going to be worried too much about what's going to be transpiring just yet. But uh, they are going to be backing out a little bit. If they're not too careful, they might go too close to Flash Vision Esports. So, sorry, um, team number five is not Flash Vision Esports. It's going to be Lemon Gaming Gold. So, yeah, guys, sorry, but the team list is uh, a little bit mixed up. I think the teams didn't join into the, the correct slots or maybe there's a revised slots. I will have a look at amending that during the break in between round one and uh, round two. But now Circle fast on the move here we see battle arena leads here moving down um usually characteristically see them moving a little bit early on here and uh looks like they're very happy to just uh take their time getting into the zone but a lot of other people haven't made their way in just yet genius team still going to be hanging out over here um just on the edge of the circle so they're going to have to continue onwards oman did get that early kill in the early stages of the game but uh, now everyone is fast on the move here. They're all going to try and pile into the center areas here if they can. Uh, is the predominant strategy that we do tend to see quite a lot from some of the teams. 
but we'll see how that will be picking up a little bit later on. And we do have Geek Fam hang still hanging around the prison area here. Um, Going to be one of their normal trademark loot spots for the time being. And they do have, um, I think it's Gang FDY in close proximity that um, they're probably just going to have to be a little bit careful. They are in the lumber mill all together here. And uh, Kenny going to move over and try and re um, being with the rest of his team members here, but looks like uh, Revax here has managed to catch out Seravix, and uh, looks like um, that's going to be a bit difficult for the rest of his teammates to try and help him. He's got the whole of Frostfire here to back him up, and now they are trying to put a little bit of pressure onto this position. So now Lemagami Gold here going to be one player down. The rest are going to be hanging out a little bit further on, but now it looks like Sage Gaming here getting spotted out by O and E right now. Now they're taking a lot of fire here, and looks like Kids Young here going to get no Knocked down and uh, gonna be in a bit of trouble here as uh, now gonna have to see how this is gonna be faring for them as currently looks like Wilkes here gonna get taken down as well not looking good there for stage gaming all just trying to get up that hill not getting enough momentum in the vehicle and uh, looks like team ONE here does smell blood in the water and they're gonna try and see whether they can finish the squad off and get some of that good Milta loot that they were not able to get just because of the, some of the earlier altercations that they had Gold Army Factory still gonna be in Pachinki for the time being, but looks like a venture here starting to make their way in from South George. But they have taken a little bit of damage here. Currently, looks like uh, we have uh, Red Sea moving out from Result, but they're going to take their time moving along these edges here. They might be occupying the buildings here, trying to see whether or not they can catch any other teams in rotation. But now it looks like uh, increased pressure. Wilkes gets taken down again here as uh, Snake Jaw starts to move up the hill side right now. Terrence and Oni Gate is a little bit higher up here, but Snake Jaw here going to move out. Kit Seong here, I don't think that's going to be too much that can be helped in that situation there as the rest of the teammates are going to be in a little bit of trouble. And it looks like Kit Seong is going to bleed out in fact. But Stage Gaming here going to continue to withdraw here, but Wilkes here not being res in time. So Jun Ben here going to continue onwards here as uh, he tries to get away. Now, looks like Gang FTY gonna still be in Lumber Mill for the time being here. They might be able to hear some of the fracas that is ongoing at the moment here. Junbin here all by himself for stage gaming. Gonna have to try and uh, uh, deal with this situation as best as he can. But all the way here, Physrix, uh Gaming over here, still gonna hang out for the time being. Genius team hang out on that north eastern side here for the time being but now looks like we're having all these teams here going past any fighter here as uh currently Alpha and the rest of the venture here also trying to make their way through this zone here but they are going a uh far enough north here just to avoid taking too much uh, accurate fire. Now Circle gonna shift over here a little bit towards the northeast and looks like uh, it's still gonna be very much around the prison area and uh, also maybe Lumber Mill. And it looks like Battle Arena Elites here already fast on the move here trying to reposition themselves into a better location right now. Looks like Base Gaming here finishing off their loot phase. They're gonna hang out here just south of the Lumber Mill side of things. As we do see Caventure here, Gold Army Factory and everyone else moving in. But we do see that uh, Physrix Esports here in a little bit of trouble. I'm not sure if they have vehicles here. Doesn't look like they have managed to secure any. So they're going to have most of the trouble to deal with here. Quacker also going to have to move out from the military island. But they should have enough vehicles there to deal with any uh, potential situations when they try to move in closer to the circle. But uh, now looks like Battle Arena Elites moving very closely through the Physrix Gaming guys here. As currently they are trying to occupy a good location here. Get in early as um, the circle shift was significant enough that they wouldn't expect to find anyone in these locations so they're going to try and reserve these slots Batman a little bit further along here and uh, I'm not sure whether or not he's under pressure from the Physrix gaming guys so now Batman uh, gonna be just hanging out a little bit further away here but the rest of Physrix gaming gonna be moving out here and see whether or not they can get any vision but now it looks like they are taking some long-range shots there as Loki's and the rest of Battle Arena elites I think have managed to spot them out just a little bit here but Batman here trying to do the brunt of the work here for himself and uh, just trying to get into uh, a little bit of a better position here. He's just gonna hang out by his car, get a little bit more of that scouting information for the time being. Flash Vision trying to push shots onto Lemon Gaming Gold here. And uh, for the time being, not able to do too much here, but looks like uh, Red Sea here running into some trouble here. It looks like they lost Don Pablo in that instance here. And he's gonna be out of the game here. But uh, the rest of the 
team members here are going to be knowing about that uh, potential problem here. They're going to be driving straight on pass here. And currently, it looks like Battle Arena at least going to see a lot of rotations coming out from all these players here as currently they're just trying to get into a better position right now. And uh, Red Sea here going to be able to navigate all the way through here, but it is looking very dicey as everyone is really close to the team here. Starting to be uh, more central here at the moment, but Kenny here all by himself, but is his, excuse me, his nade comes up big. He knocks out dreams right there. But he doesn't have Xavier Jax and Marty here too close to him at the moment here. He's going to just hang out and try and delay any potential push here coming in just yet from the gold army factory guys here. And spots out 9 holy, not able to land any connections there. But he's going to be backing out just a little bit here. He wants to really allow for Xavier to try and get into this position. Currently, Xavier does have sight on Dreams here. And KMF1 and KMF1 taking quite a few hits here. And uh, looks like Dreams not going to be rest there. But Xavier here now going to have to back out to the safety of the rock cover that he does have available to him. Mahdi and Jang's going to provide some cover fire from the hillside here. Now Kenny is just going to uh, bide his time here. There's only going to be two more players left here. Nine Holy and KMF1 for Gold army factory so now looking at how things are shaping up here we can already see that oh it looks like uh, Mahdi here gonna uh, spot out Sepuger here from uh, let me get me gold now looks like he's not able to land the shots just yet so guys again just uh, apologies that uh, looks as though that I have to uh, update the team list a little bit later on so Please bear in mind that some of the teams are not according to the team list here. So I'll try and address that later on after the break. But yeah, coming back anyways, we see that uh, Physics Esports finally managing to, to secure some vehicles here. Taking quite a bit of damage. Esco Rex moving down here from Minon Copy Job as well as things are going to be developing further here. But looks like Gang FTY is in a bit of trouble here. Only two of their players here moving out. But Haha Goose is going to spot out Alan's right there. Yeah, or M0, sorry. And now Alan's here going to be left all by himself. He's in a very precarious spot here. I'm not sure what he can do. But uh, it's now looking a little bit dire for them. But they're all going to have to move because the circle shifted back down here. So the other two gang FTY players who are still in... Um the lumber mill here going to be in a decent position here but it looks like nine holy getting knocked down here kmf1 going to get the res off in time here it looks like kenny here just trying to be a big pest here and make it not easy for them as currently they are also surrounded here savior going to have that spot looks like battle arena leads here going to be one of the first to make their maneuvers after the reveal of this position here city fighter here going to move in from the south side here kenny not able to land the shots right there at that moment now looks like um, kenny going to try and see whether or not he can catch any more vision now looking at the rest of it stadium fighter moving into the southern side of the circle the team quacker here has managed to move in as well um from the military island but looks like battle arena leads here having to go all the way around a lot of these teams here and team o and e here is going to give it a good shot try and uh put some of these shots onto the players there see whether or not they can land any meaningful connections there but uh for the most part it doesn't look so they're going to be too injured here but Coventure here also going to try and put some shots in that direction but looks like they're going to continue onwards here now everyone from the north side is on the move here and trying to get out allen's looks like He's going to be able to get away, but now Physrix Gaming here is going to be moving right through Red Sea, but Red Sea not going to be able to stop them just yet here, as currently they are all moving on foot, but Haha Gus might be able to take advantage of the little tussle topple of this vehicle there. And looks like uh, top one Saika here going to be going down at the moment here. There's now everyone moving in. Lion Desert here taking down one of the Battle Arena Elites players. And now Savior putting some shots towards Physrix Gaming right now. But just not able to land too many connections just there. But it looks like uh, ONE here trying to repel the attack here from Gaventure. Looks like Gaventure here facing the brunt of the damage here. They lost two of their players. NJRX and Chilrex both going down. Upbam is going to have to try and make do with the situation here. I think Rain Zara is coming in a little bit further away here. But Upbam is going to try and get the res off here. As as fast as he can but Rain Zara able to get the nade knocked there onto ONE right now and he's going to continue trying to do what he can at the moment he is just trying to get a little bit more vision while Chilrex and Alfam heal up a little bit here Dukong is knocked down here and if Rain Zara can get the good nade here he might be able to confirm the kill but looks like the nade going to go a little bit further away here and uh, now we're seeing that everyone here is still in a very dicey position but Kenny goes down here and he's still all by himself there but that might be the opening that uh, Gold Army Factory might need here to try and finish off the nade going out there but not landing the shot there but looks like ONE here trying to get 
inside or rather get this battle uh, sorted out but right now Oni Gate here is the only last player left alive here for ONE Esports now looks like Xavier coming to the rescue taking down KMF1 but now Cholrex gonna try and move off Oni Gate here moving through at the right time it seems and he's able to take down Cholrex now he's gonna back out and try to get the heal off Rain Zera is moving in to try and see what he can do but Oni Gate has made a lot of noise here and uh, he actually takes down Dukong so um not sure uh, the logic on that one, but uh, we'll have to see whether or not that actually counts as uh, part of the points here. Rain's Era going to try and go for the res here at the moment. And now let's see how the next circle is going to be sorting out here. It looks like it's going to shift significantly again here. Again, with no real teams here, going to be real benefiting except for Frostfire. So they've been all around this Milta region for this whole time. And uh, seems like it's working out. Gang FTY does have Allens moving over here. As uh, now we're going to have to see a lot of movement here. Uh, face gaming here as well as Team Quack are going to have to start moving in. They have to be careful about their route. It's very dense uh, cover over here, and they might run into all these players here, as um, they very well could be in this location. But looks like Kenny here are going to have the last say in the fight with Gold Army Factory here as Nine Holy trying to get out here, just not able to get... Uh, Further enough away and that's gonna be it there as uh, now geek fam here probably gonna move in a little bit later here but lemon gaming gold trying to put some shots towards genius team for the time being here but looks like rain zera couldn't finish off one esports here as uh venture going to continue onwards but at the cost of two of their players here but now genius team all moving in on this position currently there's also gonna be a very close proximity to um i think it's going to be Flash Vision. So Flash Vision is going to be very close here. But Batman coming up big here for Battle Arena Elites here. And so he's taking, or rather, there's significant losses on both sides here for Gang FUY and uh, BAE as Batman going to go for the heal. Now, now Alan's here going to try and do the prone action there, but not able to do too much there. But Batman going to be the last surviving team member as a result there. Um, so looks like Gang FTY gonna go out here in this game and Battle Arena leads reduced down to one player there. Now it looks like this three-way battle here is continuing onwards here as we do have Genius Team just perch themselves very closely here. They're not getting involved just yet until they can try and put the surprise back on the Lemon Gaming Gold here. Nazi here gonna throw out a flashbang here, but not gonna do much more than that at the moment. Flash Vision trying to continue and get away going towards the northern side, or rather get, getting further uphill. But now looks like, uh, if they're not careful here, Genius Team going to surprise all of them here. But looks like Sepruger trying to go in for the flank there. Pear Pie going to catch him out. And now Byron here going to be on the lower ground. And Drogo also going to be very close to the players of Genius Team right now as things are heating up. But now we see that uh, Ali here, or Rascal, getting knocked down here for or base gaming here. Zach here trying to go through the, the weeds here, but Red Sea here trying to get into a better position, but looks like uh, base gaming not having the best of spots right now. Red Sea pushing up this hill, taking down three of the players here in one go. She is going to be the furthest player back there for face gaming. He is going to try and back out here, see whether or not he can uh, get into a better position here. But looks like the whole of uh, Stadium Fighter getting wiped out in one fell swoop there as they got completely eliminated there. And uh, now we are down to 14 teams here. But uh, now it looks like Esco Rex and the rest of Minimum Copy Jump under pressure here from... Flash, or rather, Physics Esports here at the moment. Hickey here just taking so much fire from all directions for the time being here. Now, looks like uh, the teammates here going to try and do what they can here. Hickey has been taken out completely here, but looks like Red Sea here going to get a taste of their own medicine after almost wiping out the face gaming here. Geekfan comes in there and finishes them off there on the eastern side. So things are getting very heated at the moment here as the kill count is climbing. As um, we're seeing that Darkus here is trying to move outside the zone here. He's going to get knocked down as a result. But Minnow Copy Jump starting to put pressure onto Fisrix Esports at the moment here. K-Bite is going to knock down KM. And uh, now looks like there's only going to be Luffy that's left here. He's all alone in the car here. He's taking a lot of fire here. And it looks like Rosex D here going to finish him off. And that's going to be it there for Fisrix Esports here in this game. As um, now we're seeing the remaining team starting to come in here. It looks like Genius Team here opting not to take the shots there as the they did have quite a few opportunities to, to try and shoot at Lemon Gaming Goal or Flash Vision Esports. But now Frostfire does see that uh, there's going to be Jay-Z Jay-Z here for Physrix Gaming. Just going to hang out there by the low ground for the time being and... Uh, for the most part here, he's going to continue to survive for the time being. He's going to try and back out a little bit more. But Circle is going to Frostfire here at the moment. And uh, for the time being, it does look like it's going to be a little bit on the okay side here. 
So now we're seeing Jay Z, Jay Z here getting the full might of Frostfire starting to come here, except for Adol. Adol gonna be a little bit further back here. Mr. Six here might be able to get some flanking shots here, but looks like not necessary. But looks like it might have been a uh, so called stolen as Force in here. 14 Quacker gonna be all the way on the south. Eastern side of the circle for the time being. He does have the vision on Frostfire, but probably not going to be able to secure too many kills. He's still going to take some shots, see what he can do for Team Quacker. But now we are down to 10 teams left. It's only 23. We're at the 23 minute mark, so there's probably only less than 10 minutes left in this game. As now we see Flash Vision starting to move into the tower here. Now, Genie's team does have to move through this zone, as does Minnow Copy Chap and Lemon Gaming Gold. So they're going to be in that position. It looks like a venture here with the two players they had left here after fighting with. With team O and E going to be still sitting nicely inside or close towards the center of the circle here. Now Parapai just trying to get some vision towards Genius Team at the moment here. They do have got this very decent position here. It gives them a lot of angles, but it looks like Oman doesn't care about that. He's going to take that uh, shot and M24 going to rain down onto him. But now it looks like Esco Rex here going to be very close to Matt Drago and uh, Fyvern at the moment here as uh, they're just lying prone right now and uh, don't know if they are you know, going to op be opening up just yet but Esco Rex taking quite a bit of fire here both Matt Drago and Fyvern opening up at the same time and now it looks like Rose D is trying to put some shots towards Fyvern at the moment here but now Minokopi Jeff does have K-Bytes on the higher ground here he's going to spot out Matt Dra Drago right now and he's going to try move up behind the rocks there and now Fyvern trying to move up the hill here. K-Bite's gonna be able to put more shots there but it looks like Fyvern here with almost no life left and K-Bite's gonna be able to secure the final kills there on Lemon Gaming Gold and uh, looks like Minute Copy Jump gonna continue onwards but they did lose one of their players so now we're gonna be seeing how the rest of these teams are gonna be shaping up. Looks like Genius Team here avoiding the tower at the moment here. Heat fam looking in a good position here on the eastern side. They are putting a lot of pressure on the Quacker. They do have the high ground advantage at the moment. And Aplux has to run a little bit into cover here. Just to try and get into a better position. But they have to be careful from the lumber mill side. It's very easy to get uh, taken down there. That's why you can see that uh, Jang is going to hang out here on the northern side. He's going to try and watch out. Batman and um, Junbin here for the respective teams. Going to be just hanging out in the center of the circle. See what they can do. 2-2 two -two split going out for Frostfire. They're going to cover a lot of area here. But it's very much going to depend on how the rest of this circle is going to be shaping up here. And now it looks like it's um, the circle here going to be shifting over towards the... Slightly towards the northwest here. So Frostfire does have a spot there for the time being. But pr currently there's only a few bits of uh, solid compounds here that can be uh, obtained at the moment here. And uh, looks like these teams are just going to jostle a little bit for position, but they'd only have 30 plus seconds here before they have to try and find a good spot. No, no excuse me. Rosox D and K Bytes here. Just trying to rotate around the tower that's currently controlled by Flash Vision. Flash Vision just going to continue to try and put that pressure. And now I think they would realize by now that the teams that they were gatekeeping uh, a little bit have now moved here. But now it looks like Kenny here going to move into this compound. Junbin here is already occupying the bathroom there. He really needed to use it desperately, I would think here. But uh, now Kenny going to move around here. Ooh, doesn't spot him out there. He's in the very next room here at the moment. But now Flash Vision in a bit of trouble here. Genius Team opening up taking a uh, that step forward here and gonna really be putting pressure there it looks like fred vivo gonna be taken down by minokopi japan back there so he got the nice cover there but looks like they're moving in there from the side for the time being now mr pa does have this uh, position over here at the moment geek fam starting to make their way through the zone here but looks like oman gonna go down rosex d here gonna be getting those long range shots there and um oman going to continue taking that fire and he's going to go down there at the moment but looks like now geek fam here in a, in a difficult spot but looks like genius team here in a more difficult spot as they're going to flank from all sorts of directions right now jang's going to town with the Karasa right now and he's going to try and spot out more of these teams here and see what they can do but uh, looks like there's a lot of spray coming out there and not connecting one hp left for jang's here but looks like Usui here going to get caught out there by Kenny and Geek Fam going to continue onwards as uh, now it looks like there's only Parapai left for Flash Vision. Paid here going to be the last player left alive here. Also has a Graza of his own. But Jank's going to show him who's got the mightier Graza right now. And it looks like that's going to be it. But looks like Quacker here is starting to turn some heads here as they're starting to come in through the side here and going to get some flanky shots. Body has been knocked down 
as uh, has Jangs as well. Forza getting knocked down for Quacker at the moment here. Kenny going to be the last player left up here for um, for Geek Fam at the moment. And everyone just congregated here in this very tight spot. Up looks trying to just get in a bit. Batman going to be hanging on the outside line prone there. And uh, Skyrex spotting him out. I'm not sure if Batman was uh, AFK or whatever, but uh, looks like Quacker here going to finish them off. Junbin still going to be alive here in the building there. And uh, Savior going to knock down recoils as he continues to try to do what he can. He spots out Skyrex, but he managed to get behind cover just in the nick of time. And Op looks going to be facing his end there as Kenny going to help finish him off. And Recoil is going to go down as well. Geekpam securing more kill points there. But Circle has shifted down to the southwest here. Going to make things a little bit difficult for all these teams here. And uh, now going to have to see how it's going to be shaping out. Minocopy Jump does have a straight direct way to get in. Adventure is still going to be hanging out in the only compound inside the Circle. Frostfire going to have to move out. We have to see whether or not they do want to try and take this fight against um, uh, Geek Fam at the moment. But right now, we got four teams here lying very close to the north eastern edge of the circle and they're all gonna have to make their moves pretty soon here as the circle really gonna make things difficult i think savior and KNY god here does know that there's gonna be potential problems here if they do try and clear it out they are gonna move out just a little bit here they might be able to get some vision here but pear pie gonna be in a decent spot himself but now looks like chill rex and rain zara here gonna be trying to repel the attack here by Frostfire, but Rain Zara getting taken down, um, and looks like Chillrex here gonna have to try and do the best he can. He's gonna get the smoke out, but Rain Zara gets shot through the window by Rosox D there. So a bit of third party action there, as now the rest of uh, the Frostfire players gonna have to try and do what they can, but looks like Minnow Copy Jump does have this whole zone spotted out. But Frostfire gonna be moving into the bottom floor of the building here, and they do have Teddy moving up and bringing up the rear here. Chillrex cannot afford to uh, take too many hits at the moment here. Looks like Junbin here going to take that blue damage here. As now looks like Parapai forced to move here, going to get caught out there by Savior. And looks like that's going to be it for Flash Vision. And now Skyrex showing himself there, but he's taking some blue damage as well here. He's going to have to try and do what he can, but he's still in a difficult spot. That AWM not going to be helping him too much in this situation as 15 kills already here. And uh, now it looks like uh, Middle Copy Jap here going to be in a little bit of a spot. Rosex D actually getting taken down by the blue zone here. And now the rest of these players are going to have to try and do what they can. Uh, or rather, K Bites is going to be the last player left reminding Skyrex actually is taken down by the blue zone. And now we're down to four teams here. Looks like K Bites going to try and move down a little bit more here, but he's getting spotted out by Mr. Six here, but not able to land the connections just yet here. Geek Fan moving in from the northeastern side, but now it looks like K Bites here does have enough smokes here available to him. And Kenny got to try and put some good shots there with the mini 14. Try and see whether he can catch up the legs at all. Now it looks like Circle here going to be very. Very close to the compound, I think they do have to vacate it here. And uh, now this is where Geek Fam can apply a lot of the pressure here. Add to their 15 kills that they already have in this game. Savior leading the way with six. Kenny has four in this game as well. So they are going to continue to rotate around here. They have got good angles here at the moment based on their positioning here. But Frostfire is kind of stuck here. They do have two of their players down here at the moment. K-Bytes has managed to move all the way down here. But now Savior does have an angle there. He's putting more pressure. But Revax here is also in a good position here himself. And K-Bytes going to take down Kenny there. But Revax going to steal the kill. And now... K-Bytes here, gonna have to try and heal up a little bit. He's got this little bit of terrain cover here at the moment, and now Frostfire here, still keeping their squad strength at three for the time being. So there's only gonna be the few three solo squad members of uh, Minokopi, Jap, Gaventure, and Geek Fam that still have to try and deal with this. But Frostfire have already got one foot inside the, the zone, so to speak, here. And they, the door is actually nicely facing in that direction as well. So now Chill Rex here, gonna have to bite his time. The blue zone is starting to move in. K Bites also gonna hang around this side. Teddy does know that there's gonna be someone hanging around the side here, not willing to go much further as K Bites gonna be forced to move out pretty soon here. And Teddy might be able to get the shot here. And it looks like he's able to spot out K Bites. And now Chill Rex here might think about uh, moving in the near future here but I think he's trying to see if another fight breaks out in terms of um, on the other side where we do still have Savior alive for Geek Fam 
But Frostfire taking this nice and slow. They do have the side of the circle already and uh, going to be using those smokes for a little bit of cover. Currently, Savior here just trying to look onto the high ground, but currently there's not going to be too much going on there. He's going to still be hiding out by... The, the rock that he does have at the moment here and Chorex really waiting until the last moment and he might still be inside the zone up there and uh, looks like he's got the smallest of spaces there and Convention gonna continue to live on here as um, we only got 54 seconds here before the, we're gonna have to see that the, this is gonna be uh progressing further here. This is going to start collapsing pretty soon. Teddy does kind of have an idea where Savior might be. Chilrex definitely is a very known presence there for the rest of um, the Frostfire guys here. This Revax here going to hang out just below and uh, Chilrex going to have to make the move out pretty soon as uh, Teddy and Mr. Six here trying to watch the side. Savior going to be hanging around the side as well. So things are going to erupt here pretty soon. Chilrex really using whatever nades he has left but looks like Teddy going to catch him out as he comes out there and now Teddy might have an inkling as to where Savior is going to be. Crossfire has three players left alive here and Savior taking quite a bit of damage and looks like uh, Teddy going to come around the side but Savior actually taking taking himself out by the blue zone and that's going to be it there for round number one. So that's going to be it here and uh, looking at how things are going Frostfire having uh, quite good luck there with the circles there but they controlled the southern sides pretty well and they were able to push onto the compound occupy a venture without taking too much damage there in the process but uh, looks like they're still going to be able to come out on top as they were able to methodically take out the last few players there in the circle. Uh, Revax and Teddy going to lead the way with three kills apiece and in second place GeekFam leading the kill charts over here with the 15 kills that they managed to get Savior leading the way with six kills and getting quite the total Kenny following that up with four kills himself. Third place going to be Coventure as we see Chilrex able to get four kills. Reigns are getting two, but they did lose two of their players in the earlier fracas with uh, ONE Esports. So that was going to be detrimental for their um, position into the later stages. In fourth position, we are going to have Mino Copy Jab. So they able to get six kills through Rusex D there. And unfortunately, he was on the edge of the circle and just going to get caught out by Teddy there right at the end. And in fifth place, we have Team Quackers. So Team Quacker having three kills apiece here between Skyrex and Forza there as they were looking pretty decent here they were uh having some good flanking shots there onto geek fam they took up uh two of the players there but they were in uh in turn in a very difficult spot as well as uh, it was really crazy at the lumber mill side of things so guys that's going to be it for round number one so we will be taking a short break and when we return we will bring to you round number two